Good morning, my people. It is a hot one today, but uh, that just means stuff's gonna dry faster and I'm gonna lose weight. That's a good thing. <laughs> Let's get this bad boy done. We're at the crazy clown maze working in the lobby, hot rock and cave action. Hey people, this is Stuart Smith with Stuart Designs. If you're new to the channel, I paint monsters for a living and do all sorts of nasty things for the laser tag and haunted house industry. So today, we're working in the crazy clown maze and we are working on a nasty lobby cave area. So we're utilizing Portland cement, we're utilizing Durabond 90 minute plaster sheetrock, foam, insulation, and uh, a lot of sweat and tears. So uh, hey, come on board, enjoy the, uh, enjoy the transitions. I'll have a playlist in the description below of other things we've done. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description below as well. And, hey, keep on coming on in because uh, this is going to be video three and there's going to be a lot more after that. Thank you very much for watching, people. Stay to the end so you can see some cool stuff and uh, have a great day. Okay, this is going really well. I got Mike there helping me put some stuff like stalactites and things like that above to get rid of the hi, I'm a two by four supporting a wall look. And uh, here is some of the hopper gunning we're doing, putting a nice hard coat on there, but with a real cool texture. And then later on, we'll come in and paint. The decision has been made that we won't be putting skulls and stuff like that on here. Uh, we're just gonna go with the cave as is. And um, so, once I'm done doing all this work with the hopper gun and um, putting up the rest of the stalactites and stuff like that, we'll come through and paint her up and make it look cool. Um, you guys are noticing all the different colors. Well, that's just using the oops paint to create my uh, hard coat. And uh, it is working out fantastic. So once we're done, we're going to go with a gray and black motif with some staining. And um, here I am. We just say I added this into another wall, and so I sculpted those up with a with a horse brush, and then now we're using the Durabon 90 as a thick coat. So I mixed that up real thick, almost like a real thick paste, and we're gonna blend it all in and take care of it. Um, that way, when I hopper gun it finally, and you'll see at the end, um, it'll all blend together and be good. Now I got about 60 minutes to work with this stuff. And I'm um, wearing gloves because, dang, you don't, you don't want to get this on your hands if you can help it. So you see, I sat there and blended it all in. And it looks pretty crappy when it's on there like this. But then when we start doing the hopper gun stuff and blend it all in, and then when the paint job comes in later on, it's going to look really cool. You know, so enjoy the rest of the video, people. Thanks for coming on board, and we'll see you in the next video. I just wanted to show you guys this. Mike did this for me today. So this is the two by fours for supporting the walls. And so he took scrap pieces of foam, some of them already have foam coat on them, and just put them up there like that so we can come along later and do that to it. So we have a very, very healthy structure, foundation's good, and then we're gonna gack it out like this and it paints it up with the lighting, it's gonna look fantastic. You know, you guys might be able to try that in your establishment, but this is it's really good. And these are put on glued and put in screws and washers, so it's not going anywhere. Just FYI, people. Well, that's it for today. It's about six o'clock, we're heading out, and uh, I got about 45 minutes to get home, and everybody drives like they got a pregnant woman in the back seat. I mean, people.
relax, okay? You'll get there, hopefully, in one piece. Thanks for coming on board, people. Playlist in the description below, and um, check those out. Some good videos there. Everything from skeletons and graveyards and all sorts of things. And, hey, I'm going to be working on that 30-piece set in uh, the studio this weekend. And I'll be throwing up some videos from there. And then I will be back here on Monday for more hot cave action. Thanks for coming on board, people. And we'll see you in the next video.